Thank you, Alfredo and Olympia. So about one year ago, I saw Jacob Knutson, Product Area Lead Engineer at H&M, present at a conference. And I was so intrigued by his presentation that I reached out to him. In our correspondence, he shared some amazing things that made me immediately ask whether he would be able to share his story here at DevOps Enterprise, because I know their story will inspire this community. H&M Group is a leading global fashion company. According to their annual shareholder letter, in 2020, they operated nearly 5,000 stores in 74 markets around the globe, with net sales of 187 billion Swedish krona, which is about $22 billion US. I am so delighted that Jacob is co-presenting with Daniel Clausen, H&M Group's Chief Product Officer, who is responsible for overseeing the strategy development, and operations of all digital and tech products, enhancing the shopping experience for customers to H&M Group's global family of brands. Here is Jacob and Daniel. Yes, okay. I'll just bring out me. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Bauer Hassan. I am Frederick. I am Mispa. I'm a product owner in New Business Tech. It's very important for me to be creative. That's my way of unwinding. When I dance, I just forget the outside world. I am a machine learning engineer. We are looking in how the customers are behave as a group or even as an individual. It's a magic with maths. software engineer. When you think too long on a problem, maybe you get stuck. When you do something else for a moment, then you solve the problem much faster. It doesn't turn out the way I want it. Undo and go again. I am product owner at Business Tech. H&M, of course, as a global company, gives me great opportunity to interact with other stakeholders, different countries, cultures. We make sure that it's secure, frictionless and fast and easy to pay. What are the cool things that we can do? What are the realms of possibility? We want to build that together with all these new people that will join us. Last year, I was invited by Gene Kim to present H&M's cloud and DevOps journey over the last years and how we're doing that at scale. Today, we will give you the other side of that story from a business perspective, as well as where we're heading in the future. And we're going to tell you why tech transformation is needed, how we got started, and also implemented organizational changes, and how that has allowed us to serve our customers and colleagues better. I'm really glad to be joined today also by our Chief Product Officer, Donald Claussen, here to tell his side of the story and to break down the importance of incorporating tech into the DNA of our business. Tech is fundamental in everything we do. We're now living in the age of software. So are we a software company? No, I would still argue that we are a fashion and design company, but that we must master software at scale. And if we go back a couple of years, we were a classical enterprise IT department, heavily siloed, built for stability and expansion. This served us really well for a long time, but we were slow and there were a lot of handovers and bureaucracy. We actually started our first online shop in 1998, and that was built around mainframe. And already back then, they had a tight interconnection with our business. With a focus on globalization, they could quickly enter new online markets, but as they grow, even changing the color of a button took a lot of time. So they went from a few agile teams to scaling that to eventually do waterfall. And around this time, we also saw a grassroots movement that were exploring new ways of working, new technologies that had merged and challenged different time-consuming processes. There were smaller agile islands popping up in different parts of the organization. There were these teams 
around the company that acted as change agents within our buying and production and within our online and then later also within AI and analytics and cloud as examples. What were our blockers? Where did those time-consuming handovers take place? And what were the constraints? One example is that onboarding a new development team and getting a dev environment up and running could take up to two to four weeks on premise. Whereas in the cloud, we have that fully automated and could provision a dev environment and a landing zone with integrated dev tooling in under 10 minutes so that the team can start creating value and test their ideas instantaneously, fully democratizing infrastructure and provide 100% self-service capabilities. We also push teams moving to the cloud to DevOps practices and to handle their own cloud resources pushing the now known ideal from the unicorn project, locality and simplicity, so that any team could independently develop, test and deploy value to the customer. Cloud gives us a faster pace, a better global scale, value for money, built right of course, and access to value added services and innovation. So we really can focus on our core. These teams could grow together and inspire each other and everyone had a lean and DevOps mindset. We fostered a culture of automation, new ways of working, and pushing responsibility left. And teams really started to prove value. We also recognized that the number of deploys each team can do is a true competitive advantage. We were also having a lot of fun and had leadership that believed in us. True to our values of having an entrepreneurial spirit, keeping it simple, and believing in people. And this was the start of something new, and the feeling was a